in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to use pretty links on your WordPress site okay pretty links is used to create custom URL links on our website which then redirect to other links as an affiliate marketer and online marketer I use pretty links for so many reasons but the main reason being for email marketing purposes and branding purposes okay so when we send out emails we want them to hit the inbox of course so if you just put an affiliate link chances are your emails are going to hit spam we don't want that we want them to hit the inbox and that is why we use pretty links and we use pretty links to create our custom url links which then redirect to an affiliate link another reason why i use pretty links is for branding purposes if i'm giving out this url and i've got a get response affiliate link i don't want to just give get response or afttpp instead i can use my website and i can use pretty links to create a custom url which will say kafaobunnybotonline.com slash get response it looks a lot more presentable and it's great for branding purposes I am Kath from Kafaro Bunny Bot Online and if you want to learn about the latest gadgets, learn about making money online, promoting products, stick with me, remember to like, comment and subscribe and let's get straight to it. So I'm here on my WordPress uh, dashboard, so I've logged in already. Once you have, the first thing you need to do is install the Pretty Links plugin. So I'm here on the left hand side, hover over plugin and click on add new. Do, do, do. Um, once you're here, you just literally in the search box on the right hand side type in pretty links. Got that. Oh, typed in already. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Yep, so here it's appeared here. You can see it's already activated on my WordPress site, but if you haven't got it activated, click on in, press on install and then activate, and then it should activate onto your WordPress site. Once you have done that, then you can see pretty links will appear on the left hand side. I'm literally going to hover over pretty links and click on add new. First thing I do is I tend to give it a title. In my case, I'm just going to call it get response because I'll be creating a custom URL, which is going to point to my get response affiliate link, but just put in whatever you think is useful to help you keep track of the, the link you're creating. Um, so the pretty link here is the custom URL you're going to create. So mine's going to be online.com forward slash I'm going to make that get response cool and my target url is going to be uh, the url that i want my custom url to redirect to in my case it's going to be my get response affiliate link so i'm just going to grab that oh here we go grab it and i'm going to paste it into target url notes i don't tend to put much in notes i just tend to kind of in most cases leave it empty um, and then redirection you can see you have three options here in most cases, most cases, sorry, um, the 301 permanent redirection is going to be the one we use. Um, you should use the 301 when you want your sort of custom URL to always redirect to um, to this target to your target URL. It also makes it faster for users because their browsers will cache the results into the browser cache, and like I said, it will just load faster. You can see there's two other options. Here, more other options here. There's 302 and 307. The 307 is used um, sort of in temporary cases. So if you have a custom URL, which is going to go to a target URL, but this target URL may change from time to time, then you, you might think of using sort of the temporary redirection. So an example of when you might want to do that is if um, this target URL was to say an event and this um, the link changes depending on the event date. Uh, and so that's where you might want to use a temporary redirection. Like I said, there's a 302 and a 307. They're pretty much exactly the same thing, although the 307 is an update of the 302. So if you want to create a temporary redirection, I suggest you use the 307. But like I said, in most cases, the permanent 301 is the one that we're going to use and the one I'm going to use in this case. Cool. Um, then we can go over here to advanced. Um, and the default setting tends to be perfect in our case. So we've got ticked no follow and tracking um, then um, the no follow in if you're using an affiliate link you will definitely want to keep the no follow um, ticked it means that Google will not follow through that link and associate your website um, with the link that you're going to be using and, and this is important for SEO purposes if you don't want your website to be associated with the affiliate link which you're redirecting 
two. Uh, so that's why you keep it. So you've got um, another option here, sponsored, and this sort of indicates to Google that the link has been paid for. So for example, uh, someone has put um, has paid to put an ad on your website or someone has submitted paid content to show on your site. If that's the case, then you'll take it. Um, in the description to this video, I have included a link which takes you here, which gives you a bit more information about these different options. Um, like I said, in most cases, just keep it on default, but you want to make sure that it's right because it's important for the trust score and the SEO of your website. So if you want more info about it, then just click on the link which takes you here. Cool. So let's go back to basic. Once you're happy with um, what you've inputted, then you simply press update here on the right hand side. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Cool. Uh, so now it's been created. Let's see if it actually works. So I click on copy to clipboard and I'm going to open a new tab, um, paste this new custom URL and see where it redirects to. Yep. So it's redirected to get response, my get response affiliate link, which is great. So it's worked perfectly. If you look here on the dashboard, you can count or, you know, it gives you details of how many times someone's clicked on, um, on that sort of custom URL on being redirected. Uh, so for now, I'm at zero, but if you know, there's more and more people click on it, the numbers will go up. You can get some really sort of cool, um, data. If you go onto under pretty links, click on clicks and it sort of get, creates this chart for you so you can over a period of time you can see how many clicks you're getting and if you scroll further down then it gives you key information about the timestamp, the URL, the referrer and the link that's been clicked on. So we have no referrers for any of these, let's go into the next page to see if I can find an example. So this you know, URL that I crossed the URL that I created, you can see a referrer came from mail.google and this is kind of useful so if you know where you know people who where referrers are coming from then maybe you can sort of rejig your marketing activities so you know where you should you know put be putting these links so i use it for that purposes and that's why i always check this information so basically that is it that's how you use pretty link that's how you install it and that's how you can kind of see how it's working out for you I have created um, a sort of blog post on this, which I'm going to include a link in the description. If you found this useful, like, comment, subscribe, um, any questions, like I said, leave it in the comments below. Cool. Take care. Bye.